Welcome back. That was quick. Um, so the Florida Panthers are going to the Stanley Cup final. Uh, this uh, this team is really now. I mean, obviously, when you got a team going on a run, and you know, an old guy like me's watching, I'm I'm getting 1993 Montreal Canadiens vibes off of this. The Montreal Canadiens, I think it was 10 they won in overtime in that run. Uh, once you got to overtime, they just they weren't going to lose. That's just that's the way it was. And so now in these playoffs, uh, they're six and zero. They won Game Five in Boston, Game Seven in Boston, um, which everybody saw as this huge choke by Boston. I'm not saying it wasn't, but then uh, at home against Toronto in Game Three, and then in Game Five in Toronto, they won. So same thing. It was well, Toronto choked. That was hilarious. And now they've won Games One and Two in Carolina in overtime. Uh, once this game goes to overtime, it, you can just. Uh, throw your money behind Florida, I guess. So it's Bobrovsky versus Ronta in this one. I'm also going to say Ronta didn't cost Carolina the game. Uh, I, I know that Freddie Anderson will be back in game three, but I thought Ronta did well. Uh, good early back and forth. And then uh, Jalen Chatfield gets his first career playoff goal in the National Hockey League from Ajo and Nason, and that's at 143. And he buries a rebound. And my first thought was, hey, this is going to be a pretty wide open, high scoring game then. We might have a lot of fun with this. Uh, and that was the third shot on goal already for Carolina, who got all their shots out of the way in the first period, which might want to think that through again once they get to Florida in a couple of days. Uh, crossbar then for Eric Stahl as the Panthers look to answer. Forsling scores, but uh, it's challenged for offside, and sure enough, it's an offside. Um, Canes press the next shift. There's a delay game call that gives the Florida Panthers the power play. There's a shorthanded rush by Jordan Stahl. Bobrovsky saves. Then there was a shorthanded chance for Ajo. That saved. Uh, Pesci couldn't bury the rebound. Martinuk has a shorthanded chance. That's how That power play is killed off. Thankfully for Florida, that power play ends. Uh, the Canes press after the kill's done. Burns has a shot that saved. The Panthers clear. The fans call one. The referee does not. Uh, there's a mask save then on Sebastian Ajo. The shots are 12-1 to 1 for Carolina seven minutes in. Yeah, and, and those shots are not any kind of exaggeration. It was all Carolina. But this is where Bobrovsky's earning his money in these playoffs, which is odd since it, players have already been, already been paid before the playoffs start. So uh, Pesci has a shot that's held. Canes draw themselves a power play. Burns has a shot that deflects out. They cycle. Jarvis fires one high. Drury has a chance that save. Kalkanyemi's denied. The power play's killed off. Two shots directed onto the net. I think there were six shot opportunities on that. So there's a near miss then for Montour on a rush. Cousins nearly scores. The Panthers press. They can't bury one with Ronta down. Um, Montour is then denied on a net drive. His next chance is held. And Montour is kind of frustrated after that first period because, you know, he wants a goal. He wants points. I don't think he's that frustrated, though, with how this game turned out. I have a feeling he probably feels pretty good about it. So loose to Renan, can't bury one in close. The Panthers, you could see they were improving as the as the period went along. The shots do even out a bit. Um, Kane score, it's an offside challenge. And yeah, uh, McEachern played that puck outside the, the blue line. So yeah, that goal comes back as well. That's two taken off the board, one for each team. Uh, Martin to Kokanyemi, near miss there. Duclair is a rush chance, that saved. Ronta looked shaky. Uh, he was down a little bit out of position at points, looking behind him for pucks but it hadn't hurt them to this point in the game. Uh, so Tara Vinen has a net feed that gets picked off. Ekblad has a shot kicked aside. Montour with a buzzer beater attempt 100.3 miles per hour. And that saved uh, 7.14 played in the first period for Montour, which for a defenseman is good, but for Montour, that's actually a drop in his ice time from the average during the playoffs. So it's 1-0 Carolina after one. Second period, Canes have a two-on-one that gets broken up. The Panthers clear. Good back, good back checking by Florida. Canes not getting to the net. This was a completely different period than the first. Bennett has a shot that's held. Things get kind of pushy. Uh, Barkov has a shot chance that deflects out. Better start by Florida here. We get a power play then for the Canes. Natchez to Nason. There's a near miss there. The Panthers do not let them set up until late. That power play is killed off. Zero shots on that power play. Uh, Stastny's then denied from the doorstep, and not long after, at 7.43, Barkov just outweights Ronta. Ronta goes down on the play, and yeah, made him look silly. Mahura with the assist, uh, as Mahura kept the puck in after a failed clear by Carolina. Um, and so it's 1-1. Burns then has a shot that deflects wide as the Canes press, looking to answer and get the lead back. 
Nason then has a shot that's blocked. There's more pressure by the Canes after that. Reinhardt's then denied on a big rebound. Uh, Ranta not controlling the rebounds at that point in the game like Anderson did last game out. But again, it, it's not like it hurt them that much. Like, it's 1-1. We don't get another goal until overtime. Uh, Nate's just a terrifying and near miss. The Panthers rush. Mark Stahl then fires one high. The Canes clear it out. Natchez was denied, and Bobrovsky really the story in this one yet again. Um, and and it's it's amazing because we've we've talked about his contract since he signed in Florida and how he wasn't living up to it. Well, he's been earning it these playoffs. With four minutes and twenty seconds left, the Panthers with a power play they cycle. Uh, it was already better than the first power play because they weren't allowing six shots against during it. Uh, Montour has a shot that's held. We get some pushing back to back clears by the Canes. Bennett and Reinhardt have shots that are blocked. Things get punchy on a hold by Ranta. One of each ends up going to the box there. Um, and it, it felt kind of like with Ranta, with the way he was making these saves and kind of down on the play and kind of swimming around, kind of reminded me of like Hashik. Not Hashik, like Hashik. Like sort of a, a Hashik light version, right? Uh, but it, it was interesting because it was like, okay, that puck's going in. He's got it. No idea. The Canes finish the kill. Uh, Panthers press after. Canes block and clear. Jarvis misses wide on a net drive. Reinhardt has a chance to deflect out. Things get pushy on a hold by Bobrovsky in the closing seconds. So you go to the third period tied at one. Uh, early jump for the Canes, but the Panthers are blocking. Kachuk to Bennett. Ranta saves. The Canes clear it out. Uh, Eric Stahl has a rush chance that's saved. Jordan Stahl has a shot that's held. There's some pushing. The shots are one apiece. The fans not happy with a, a takedown in front of the net that they felt should have been called on Florida. And so the ref, you suck, chant gets started there. Uh, Kachuk wraparound is saved. A hit on Cousins draws cheers. Uh, there's traffic at the Panthers net, but the Canes could not cash in. And that's a big storyline tonight. They just could not get that puck to go in the net. Um, Chatfield has a shot this block. The Panthers ice it. Nate's just to Terravine, and there's a near miss there. Panthers, they have a two-on-one. That miss fires. We're down to 12 minutes left, and I put right here, already next goal wins. It was just, you could tell, this game had really just settled down. There's not a lot going on in the middle, and whoever gets that first goal is going to end up getting that victory. It's just, there was no way. Both teams very defensively responsible after a pretty wide open and entertaining first period. So, uh, we're down to those 12 minutes left. Jordan Stahl then has a chance on a rush. That saved. Puck pressure by both teams really strong in this game. Good defense by both. As I've said before, both teams play a very similar style. They mirror one another. Um, so, uh, Nason has a net feed. That nearly deflects in. McEachern fires one wide on a turnover. I thought it was smart for them to put him in the lineup. Step on comes out. Uh, McEachern goes in. Obviously, a fresh set of legs in there. I think it helped. Uh, Kachuk, Kachuk blocks a net feed to Martinuk. Uh, Stalls denied on a two-on-one. The Panthers rush. Uh, Natchez then tips one high. The Panthers ice it after that. Uh, this was another game where neither team seemed to be scared of icing the puck. Just, yeah, you don't have a play, just ice it. Uh, which is definitely different than playoff strategies in years gone by. Jarvis then has a hit on Gudis that leads to Gudis uh, taking a tripping penalty. And so we end up getting a power play for Carolina. Uh, that's with 6.27 left. Uh, Kane cycle, Bobrovsky, highlight reel saves, pucks cleared out. Uh, Shorthanded loose arena chances defended by Burns. Gostas Bear fires one wide, the Panthers clear. It's killed off one shot on net uh, in that power play. Martinuk then has a net feed that's picked off. The Panthers press with three and a half minutes left. Things get shovy at the benches. No whistle. I, I always get a kick out of this in, in the playoffs, how you can have four guys pushing and punching and the officials just kind of knock it off, knock it off. And nobody, there, there's no thought of blowing the whistle. Um, and so, yeah, the Panthers press are kept to the outside. I think part of the reason the Panthers ended up in a situation where they could press is because of the distraction at the benches. Uh, Slavin has a blast. That's held. We're down to 103 left. 48.2 left. Panthers ice it. Burns has a shot this block. The team's exchange rushes, but we're going to overtime. Uh, Jordan Stahl couldn't bury one 12 seconds in. Very close. It was a, a sky sky pass to Stahl. It looked like a set set play to me. Um, and it was a smart move, but it just doesn't quite go through. Panthers then rush. Bennett can't bury one in close. The Canes clear. And then the Panthers end up going to the power play as Carolina takes a penalty. And very early in the power play at 151, Matthew Kachuk buries one from Reinhardt and Bennett. It was tic-tac-toe, and then it's get in the door, get off, get off, get off. Go, 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 go. If Matthew Kachuk wins the Stanley Cup, 
and doesn't quickly skate around the ice and then skate off with it while everybody's chasing him. I don't even know what we're doing this for. So the score is 2-1. to one, The series is 2 nothing. Florida leads. All they have to do is go home, hold serve. Uh, of course, after the game, Sportsnet saying, well, the series isn't over and Carolina's still in this. Yes, both games went to overtime. Both, t- both games were very close. But it, it kind of feels like Florida is on a path towards that Stanley Cup. Um, after last year's frustration of being President's Trophy winners, it makes some sense. I've talked about it before that, you know, teams win the President's Trophy, they fail in the playoffs, and then they tend to break through after. If Florida's the latest, I'll have to do another video on that. At any rate, your three stars in this, all from Florida. I can't argue with this. Bobrovsky, Kachuk, and Barkov. Usually when it's an overtime win, I argue that you should have somebody from the other team. But in this case, I, I get it. Uh, shots on net were 20-11 to 11 for Carolina in the first. Bobrovsky, heavy lifting there. Uh, eight apiece in the second period. Eight to three, Carolina in the third. And then Panthers outshoot Carolina four to two in overtime. They wanted to go home with the lead. And your final shots are 38-26 to 26 in favor of Carolina. Power plays, Florida 1 for 3, Carolina 0 for 3. Hits 30 to 24 for the Panthers. Uh, Bobrovsky, 37 saves on 38 shots, has been fantastic. If you're going to look at somebody from Florida and say, well, who would end up getting the the Conn Smythe? I, I don't see how it's not Bobrovsky's, although you can make the argument for Kachuk as well. Uh, Ronta, 24 saves on 26 shots at the other end. And again, I don't think Ronta cost the game for the Florida Panther for, for the Carolina Hurricanes tonight against Florida. But it'll be interesting to see with Freddie Anderson likely to be the starter in Game Three, uh, whether or not that changes Carolina's fortunes. They have to go on the road and they have to win one. Um, as great as road teams have been in these playoffs, Florida leading the way. Um, Carolina's road game hasn't been as solid. They've been winning really, really well at home. They lose both at home in this series to start it. This, again, to me, it feels like, okay, so Florida, I I can't see Carolina beating Florida four out of five or four in a row. I just, we'll see. Uh, Because, again, they were overtime games. They were close. But Florida just gets that goal when they need it. And Matthew Kachuk, fantastic play. Uh, He gets overtime winners in back-to-back games. He is the fourth player in NHL history to do it. I saw Mel Hill. Henri Richard, I think, was one of the others. And I know he's the fourth. The third name escapes me. But that's how ridiculous uh, of a playoffs Kachuk is now having. He didn't have any goals against Toronto. Didn't need him. He played a really smart game. uh, Had assists. And he definitely had some big plays in that series against Toronto. And now the goal scoring is there as well. So, um, yeah, Florida looks really dangerous. And it's an eighth seed that looks like they're ready to storm their way to the Stanley Cup. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. For all your support, I will talk to you again soon.